Okay, hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today I wanted to do a little video to cover uh, one of my new acquisitions. I recently purchased this uh, brand new controller from Ori. It's the Ori Fighting Commander uh, Octa for the PS5. I, uh, in the past, owned the uh, PS4 version, which is this little thing here. It's the Ori Fighting Commander for the PS4. Uh, you can notice here the shape it has. It's more akin to a classic uh, Sega Saturn uh, grip. You got the six buttons layout, you have the shoulder buttons on top. Uh, there's only one D-pad there, and it's a traditional, uh, like, a segmented D-pad. There's no stick option. There's also no microphone option, which is a bummer. And uh, it's not compatible with most PS5 games nowadays. And uh, I'm just going to show how this controller looks and what's the, uh, what are the specs about it. Uh, the first thing we're going to notice is just it's uh, pretty similar to a DS5 controller in terms of shape and grip you notice there's uh the express stick here that the uh, ps4 version didn't have it's also a short stick so this means the inputs are pretty fast and it's an eight uh, gate an eight, a, an eight gate uh, stick for precise inputs on those uh, down back down forward up forward uh, back inputs and it's much lighter than uh, the ps5 controller it's actually pretty pretty light and the uh, second most useful function on it is the buttons here you can see they're really thin there's a, a micro switch function there, so uh, on the lightest press, the uh, input's gonna register. I'm just gonna jump to training mode here. I'm gonna pick up Kai. Kai with a uh, terrible Canadian color. Denim. So I'm just gonna showcase how the uh, inputs are registered with the uh, controller here. Because the buttons, they don't have a lot, uh, like a big lever, there's no resistance or uh, you don't need to exert pressure for the inputs to be registered. I'm just going to go over here. It's the K. So 5K is here. You can see I'm pressing really lightly on the controller. There's almost no pressure on my part and the uh, inputs is registered. The uh, second thing we're going to notice about the micro switch function is all the uh, shoulder buttons. It's not the traditional uh, haptic feedbacks uh, controller uh, shoulder buttons like the regular PS5 has. Like these thing here. Uh, they're notoriously long, and uh, there's a lot of pressure to be exerted for the inputs to be registered. You can see here, like a tap dust, I don't need to exert any pressure. Uh, that's the main difference uh, between these two. There's also uh, this shoulder button here, you might see on the controller. Uh, it's not really clear. It says L3 and R3. Uh, this is great because the previous version, the uh, ES4 one, didn't have any L3 or R3s, and most fighting games use these buttons for recording functions. Like this thing here. So I can still register something with uh, Soul here and have it play back. So I'm uh, sorry about that. My dog Nero was playing outside. So uh, that's mostly uh, what the difference in specs are between the Ori uh, Octa, the PS5 version, and the PS4 version. Uh, the grip is also pretty nice. It's uh, form fitting. I have small hands and so I don't have any issues holding the controller. It's super light. The inputs are registered uh, fast. Another thing to keep in mind is the uh, the D-pad here. You can see it's a different function. It's like the, uh, you got the old circle here. So the uh, up forward, up down, uh, down forward, down back. Up back inputs are pretty clean. There's also a companion uh, software that you can use on the uh, on the laptop or a PC. If you plug in the controller with using a USB stick or USB, USB cable, uh, you can adjust the uh, sensitivity of the, uh, the inputs there. So you can... Uh, Put the inputs to be as tight and precise as you'd like or be a little bit more lenient and uh, enable some sloppy play so that's pretty much all there's to know about the controller it's a uh, it's the same price as a full price game it's 60 dollars or 79.99 if you're uh, living here in canada like i am so that's all i wanted to talk about the specs i've been playing with this controller for about a day or two now uh, i haven't played kills the year in a while I, last time i played was like in march i played earlier today I'm trying to record a stream that a stream that didn't work, <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump back in online. I'm gonna test it out against uh, some players. Just see uh, how we fare. I got the chance to play against a Batman player earlier. Uh, the guy was pretty good, but I have absolutely no matchup knowledge against uh, Batman. Still managed to squeak in some wins, but it was mostly just uh, the guy was probably just trying the character out. Didn't have the end of the character. Try jumping in parse because I'm not gonna go into uh, <laughs> into ranked with a uh, new controller and 
I haven't played in a while, so there's not a lot of people today. Welcome. Let's see if there's someone available. Eh, doesn't seem like it. I don't want to do that, but uh, we might have to go East Coast, West Coast. Okay. There's quite a few people on the West Coast that might be available. Let's do this guy here. Called Mix, playing Batman. Of course, everyone's playing Batman. We're going to get some matchup knowledge and see how I fare with uh, the new controller, the Mori Fighting. If the game lets us play, because, uh, yeah, it's the netcode is still uh, going great. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. The connection is kind of iffy at uh, 130 ms. Let's see if we can find some else. We got a FOSS player here. Are you ready? Connection's not that much better, but it's still better than 130 MS. Uh, I hate this matchup, just uh, FYI. Uh, I absolutely dislike it because FOSS can just ignore uh, big fireball pressure. Even though he's not seen as a good character. See, that was a misinput. That was a fireball there. Oh, wow, nice. I was expecting a wake up grab. Okay, we got a burst. Okay, that was my straight. No way. Oh, come on. Okay, so we got the first round. Wasn't a great performance on my end. Uh, I dropped pretty much everything. Let's see if he blocks it. Okay, my guy is blocking the fireball, so he might not know. Okay, we're gonna go classic mix up here. Fortunately, I didn't delay the fireball enough. We're gonna go with a fuzzy mix. Oh, no need. Okay, let's go for the fuzzy. Dropped it, of course, and... If I did a stun dipper here, I would have beaten this move, but I think I was too low on the inputs, but maybe it was the uh, Frank Delphi. Okay, let's go. Alright, got it. So that's game. Um, don't know how much the uh, Frank Delays are affecting my gameplay, but uh, it was Ready sloppy on the inputs here. Drop the one mix up I got. Let's go with a 2S. 2S, he's gonna burst. Oh, burst! Okay, that's a burst, fireball. So unfortunately the guy is uh, floor 8, it's kind of showing, not uh, giving me a whole lot of challenge. It's normally a matchup I don't have great results. Oh, that was bad. Okay, let's go with the mix up, got him. And it's gonna be game soon. Oh, that was bad. I was fishing for the uh, gold burst there. Alright, so... So I still got the uh, cross-up, the faith cross-up uh, mix. I'm gonna try and land something better. Oh, wow. <laughs> burst. Okay. 
That was, that was actually good. He didn't respect my fake things. Right, keep the corner. We're gonna go with Fireball and we're gonna go with the simple red BRC. I don't know if I whiffed. We're gonna try again. Okay, he, he blocks. He blocked it. The first one, I think he crouched underneath it, like low profile to me, which I've never seen before. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I'm gonna go with a stun dipper and uh, red RC upwards. I think that's game. Yep. Yeah. So it's going great. The controller is not uh, restraining my restricting my uh, movements or my options. Uh, the guy 